The provinces of India, earlier presidencies of India and still earlier, presidency towns, were the administrative divisions of British governance in the subcontinent. Collectively, they were called British India. In one form or another, they existed between 1612 and 1947, conventionally divided into three historical periods. Between 1612 and 1757 the East India Company set up factories, trading posts, in several locations, mostly in coastal India, with the consent of the Mughal emperors or local rulers. Its rivals were the merchant trading companies of Portugal, Denmark, Holland and France. By the mid-18th century three presidency towns, Madras, Bombay and Calcutta, had grown in size. During the period of company rule in India, 1757–1858, the company gradually acquired sovereignty over large parts of India, now called presidencies. However, it also increasingly came under British government oversight, in effect sharing sovereignty with the Crown. At the same time it gradually lost its mercantile privileges. Following the Indian Rebellion of 1857 the company's remaining powers were transferred to the Crown. In the new British Raj 1858-1947, sovereignty extended to a few new regions, such as Upper Burma. Increasingly, however, unwieldy presidencies were broken up into provinces. <laughs> British India 1793-1947 In 1608, Mughal authorities allowed the English East India Company to establish a small trading settlement at Surat, now in the state of Gujarat, and this became the company's first headquarters town. It was followed in 1611 by a permanent factory at Machilaputnam on the Karamandal coast, and in 1612 the company joined other already established European trading companies in Bengal in trade. However, the power of the Mughal Empire declined from 1707, first at the hands of the Marathas and later due to invasion from Persia 1739 and Afghanistan 1761. .After the East India Company's victories at the Battle of Plassey 1757 and Battle of Buxar 1764—both within the Bengal Presidency established in 1765, and the abolishment of local rule in Bengal in 1793, the company gradually began to formally expand its territories across India. By the mid-19th century, and after the three Anglo-Maratha wars the East India Company had become the paramount political and military power in South Asia, its territory held in trust for the British Crown. Company rule in Bengal from 1793, however, ended with the Government of India Act 1858 following the events of the Bengal Rebellion of 1857. From then known as British India, it was thereafter directly ruled by the British Crown as a colonial possession of the United Kingdom, and India was officially known after 1876 as the Indian Empire. India was divided into British India, regions that were directly administered by the British, with acts established and passed in British Parliament, and the princely states, ruled by local rulers of different ethnic backgrounds. These rulers were allowed a measure of internal autonomy in exchange for British suzerainty. British India constituted a significant portion of India both in area and population. In 1910, for example, it covered approximately 54% of the area and included over 77% of the population. In addition, there were Portuguese and French exclaves in India. Independence from British rule was achieved in 1947 with the formation of two nations, the Dominions of India and Pakistan, the latter also including East Bengal, present day Bangladesh. The term British India also applied to Burma for a shorter time period, starting in 1824, a small part of Burma, and by 1886, almost two-thirds of Burma had come under British India. This arrangement lasted until 1937, when Burma commenced being administered as a separate British colony. British India did not apply to other countries in the region, such as Sri Lanka then Ceylon, which was a British Crown colony, or the Maldive Islands, which were a British protectorate. At its greatest extent, in the early 20th century, the territory of British India extended as far as the frontiers of Persia in the west, Afghanistan in the northwest, Nepal in the north, Tibet in the northeast, and China, French Indochina and Siam in the east. It also included the Aden in the Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> Administration under the company 1793-1858 
The East India Company, which was incorporated on 31 December 1600, established trade relations with Indian rulers in Masalipatam on the east coast in 1611 and Surat on the west coast in 1612. The company rented a small trading outpost in Madras in 1639. Bombay, which was ceded to the British Crown by Portugal as part of the wedding dowry of Catherine of Braganza in 1661, was in turn granted to the East India Company to be held in trust for the Crown. Meanwhile, in eastern India, after obtaining permission from the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan to trade with Bengal, the company established its first factory at Hooghly in 1640. Almost a half century later, after Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb forced the company out of Hooghly due to tax evasion, Job Charnak purchased three small villages, later renamed Calcutta, in 1686, making it the company's new headquarters. By the mid-18th century, the three principal trading settlements including factories and forts, were then called the Madras Presidency or the Presidency of Fort St. George, the Bombay Presidency, and the Bengal Presidency or the Presidency of Fort William each administered by a governor. The Presidencies Madras Presidency, established 1640. Bombay Presidency, East India Company's headquarters moved from Surat to Bombay in 1687. Bengal Presidency, established 1690, after Robert Clive's victory in the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the puppet government of a new Nawab of Bengal, was maintained by the East India Company. However, after the invasion of Bengal by the Nawab of Oudh in 1764 and his subsequent defeat in the Battle of Buxar, the company obtained the Diwani of Bengal, which included the right to administer and collect land revenue land tax in Bengal, the region of present-day Bangladesh, West Bengal and Bihar beginning from 1772 as per the treaty signed in 1765. By 1773, the company obtained the Nizamid of Bengal the exercise of criminal jurisdiction", and thereby full sovereignty of the expanded Bengal Presidency. During the period, 1773–1785, very little changed, the only exceptions were the addition of the dominions of the Raja of Benares to the western boundary of the Bengal Presidency, and the addition of Salset Island to the Bombay Presidency. Portions of the Kingdom of Mysore were annexed to the Madras Presidency after the Third Anglo-Mysore War ended in 1792. Next, in 1799, after the defeat of Tipu Sultan in the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War more of his territory was annexed to the Madras Presidency. In 1801, Carnatic, which had been under the suzerainty of the company, began to be directly administered by it as a part of the Madras Presidency. The new provinces By 1851, the East India Company's vast and growing holdings across the subcontinent were still grouped into just four main territories Bengal Presidency with its capital at Calcutta Bombay Presidency with its capital at Bombay Madras Presidency with its capital at Madras Northwestern Provinces with the seat of the Lieutenant Governor at Agra The original seat of government was at Allahabad, then at Agra from 1834 to 1868. In 1833, an act of the British Parliament Statute 3 and 4, William IV, Cap. 85 promulgated the elevation the ceded and conquered provinces to the new presidency of Agra, and the appointment of a new governor for the latter, but the plan was never carried out. In 1835 another act of Parliament Statute 5 and 6, William IV, Cap. 52 renamed the region the North Western Provinces, this time to be administered by a lieutenant governor, the first of whom, Sir Charles Metcalfe, would be appointed in 1836. By the time of the Indian Rebellion of 1857, and the end of company rule, the developments could be summarized as follows Bombay Presidency, expanded after the Anglo Maratha Wars. Madras Presidency, expanded in the mid to late 18th century Carnatic Wars and Anglo Mysore Wars. Bengal Presidency, expanded after the Battles of Plassey and Buxar and after the Second and Third Anglo-Maratha Wars. Penang, became residency within the Bengal Presidency in 1786, became the Fourth Presidency of India in 1805, and then part of the Presidency of the Straits Settlements until 1830, when the Straits Settlements reverted to the status of a residency within the Bengal Presidency, and were finally separated from British India in 1867. 
ceded and conquered provinces, established in 1802 within the Bengal Presidency. Proposed to be renamed the Presidency of Agra under a governor in 1835, but proposal not implemented. Ajmer Marwara Kekri, ceded by Sindhya of Gwalior in 1818 at the conclusion of the Third Anglo-Maratha War. Korg, annexed in 1834. Northwestern provinces, established as a lieutenant governorship in 1836 from the erstwhile ceded and conquered provinces Sindh, annexed to the Bombay Presidency in 1843. Punjab, established in 1849 from territories captured in the First and Second Anglo-Sikh Wars. Nagpur Province, created in 1853 from the princely state of Nagpur, seized by the doctrine of lapse. Merged into the central provinces in 1861. OUDH annexed in 1856 and governed thereafter until 1905 as a chief commissionership, as a part of northwestern provinces and OUDH. <laughs> Administration under the Crown 1858 <laughs> <laughs> Historical background The British Raj began with the idea of the presidencies as the centres of government. Until 1834, when a general legislative council was formed, each presidency under its governor and council was empowered to enact a code of so-called regulations for its government. Therefore, any territory or province that was added by conquest or treaty to a presidency came under the existing regulations of the corresponding presidency. However, in the case of provinces that were acquired but were not annexed to any of the three presidencies, their official staff could be provided as the governor-general pleased, and was not governed by the existing regulations of the Bengal, Madras, or Bombay presidencies. Such provinces became known as non-regulation provinces, and up to 1833 no provision for a legislative power existed in such places. The same two kinds of management applied for districts. Thus Ganjam and Vizagapatam were non-regulation districts. Non-regulation provinces included Ajmir Province Ajmer Marwara, Cis Sutlej States Sagar and Nurbuta Territories Northeast Frontier Assam, Kuch Behar Southwest Frontier Chota Nagpur, Jhansi Province Kaman Province Regulation provinces Central provinces, created in 1861 from Nagpur province and the Sagar and Nurbuta territories. Barar administered since 1903, renamed the central provinces and Barar in 1936. Burma, Lower Burma annexed 1852, established as a province in 1862, Upper Burma incorporated in 1886. Separated from British India in 1937 to become administered independently by the newly established British government Burma office. Assam province, separated from Bengal in 1874 as the Northeast Frontier Non-Regulation Province. Incorporated into the new province of Eastern Bengal and Assam in 1905. Re-established as a province in 1912. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, established as a province in 1875. Baluchistan, organized into a province in 1887. Northwest Frontier Province, created in 1901 from the northwestern districts of Punjab Province. Eastern Bengal and Assam, created in 1905 upon partition of Bengal, together with the former province of Assam. Re-merged with Bengal in 1912, with northeastern part re-established as the province of Assam. Bihar and Orissa, separated from Bengal in 1912. Renamed Bihar in 1936 when Orissa became a separate province. Delhi, separated from Punjab in 1912, when it became the capital of British India. Orissa, separate province by carving out certain portions from the Bihar Orissa province and the Madras province in 1936. Sindh, separated from Bombay in 1936. Panth Piploda, made a province in 1942, from territories ceded by a native ruler. Major provinces At the turn of the 20th century, British India consisted of eight provinces that were administered either by a governor or a lieutenant governor. 
The following table lists their areas and populations but does not include those of the dependent native states. During the partition of Bengal 1905 a new lieutenant governor's province of eastern Bengal and Assam existed. In 1912, the partition was partially reversed, with the eastern and western halves of Bengal reunited and the province of Assam re-established. A new lieutenant governor's province of Bihar and Orissa was also created. Topic. Minor provinces In addition, there were a few minor provinces that were administered by a chief commissioner. Topic. Aden As the settlement of Aden, a dependency of Bombay Presidency from 1839 to 1932, becomes a chief commissioner's province in 1932, separated from India and made the Crown Colony of Aden in 1937. Topic. Partition and independence 1947. At the time of independence in 1947, British India had 17 provinces Ajmer Marwara Andaman and Nicobar Islands Assam Baluchistan Bengal Bihar Bombay Central provinces and Berar Korg Delhi Madras Northwest Frontier Orissa Panth Piploda Punjab Sindh United Provinces Upon the partition of British India into the Dominion of India and Dominion of Pakistan, eleven provinces Ajmer Murwara Kekri, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Bihar, Bombay, Central Provinces and Berar, Korg, Delhi, Madras, Panth Piploda, Orissa, and the United Provinces joined India, three Baluchistan, Northwest Frontier and Sindh joined Pakistan, and three Punjab, Bengal and Assam were partitioned between India and Pakistan. In 1950, after the new Indian constitution was adopted, the provinces in India were replaced by redrawn states and union territories. Pakistan, however, retained its five provinces, one of which, East Bengal, was renamed East Pakistan in 1956 and became the independent nation of Bangladesh in 1971. See also British rule in Burma Indian princely states annexed by the British Salute state Maratha Empire Mughal Empire French India Dutch India Danish India Notes References The Imperial Gazetteer of India 26 volume, 1908-31, highly detailed description of all of India in 1901, online edition Imperial Gazetteer of India Vol. 2 1908, The Indian Empire, Historical, published under the authority of His Majesty's Secretary of State for India in Council, Oxford at the Clarendon Press. pp. XXXV, 1 map, 573 Imperial Gazetteer of India Vol. 3 1908, The Indian Empire, Economic Chapter 10, Famine, pp. 475-502, published under the authority of His Majesty's Secretary of State for India in Council, Oxford at the Clarendon Press. pp. XXXVI, 1 Map, 520 Imperial Gazetteer of India Vol. 4 1908, The Indian Empire, Administrative, published under the authority of His Majesty's Secretary of State for India in Council, Oxford at the Clarendon Press. pp. XXX, 1 Map, 552 <laughs> Further reading Pandio Padie, Saker from Plassey to Partition, A History of Modern India. New Delhi and London, Orient Longmans. pp. xx, 548. ISBN 81-250-2596-0. Brown, Judith M. First published 1985. Modern India, The Origins of an Asian Democracy 2nd ed., Oxford University Press. pp. xiii, 474. 
ISBN 0 19 873113 2. Copeland, Ian. 2001. India 1885 to 1947: The Unmaking of an Empire. Seminar Studies in History Series. Harlow and London: Pearson Longmans. pp. 160. ISBN 0 582 38173 8. Harrington, Jack. 2010. Sir John Malcolm and the Creation of British India. New York: Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-0-230-10885-1. Judd, Dennis The Lion and the Tiger, The Rise and Fall of the British Raj, 1600–1947. Oxford and New York, Oxford University Press. pp. XIII, 280. ISBN 0-19-280358-1. Majumdar, R. C., Raychaudhuri, H. C., Data, Kalikankar An Advanced History of India. London, Macmillan and Company Limited, 2nd edition. pp. XIII, 1122, 7 maps, 5 coloured maps. Markovitz, Claude ed. 2005. A History of Modern India 1480-1950 Anthem South Asian Studies. Anthem Press. pp. 607. ISBN 1-84331-152-6, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Metcalf, Barbara, Metcalf, Thomas R. 2006. A Concise History of Modern India Cambridge Concise Histories. Cambridge and New York, Cambridge University Press. pp. XXXIII, 372. ISBN 0-521-68225-8. Mill, James 1820. The History of British India, in six volumes. London, Baldwin, Craddock, and Joy, 3rd edition, 1826. Pierce, Douglas M. 2006. India under Colonial Rule 1700-1885. Harlow and London, Pearson Longmans. pp. XVI, 163. ISBN 0-582-31738-X. Riddick, John F. 2006. The History of British India, A Chronology. Riddick, John F. 1998. Who Was Who in British India? Sarkar, Sumit 1983. Modern India, 1885-1947. Delhi, Macmillan India Limited. pp. XIV, 486. ISBN 0-333-90425-7. Smith, Vincent A. 1921. India in the British Period, being Part 3 of the Oxford History of India. Oxford, at the Clarendon Press, 2nd edition. pp. XXIV, 316, 469-784. Speer, Percival 1990, first published 1965. A History of India, Volume 2, from the 16th century to the 20th century. New Delhi and London, Penguin Books pp. 298. ISBN 0-14-013836-6. External links Statistical abstracts relating to British India, from 1840 to 1920 at uchicago.edu Digital Colonial Documents India homepage at latrobe.edu.au Provinces of British India at World Statesman. Org. Collection of early 20th century photographs of the cities of Bombay, Calcutta, and Madras with other interesting Indian locations from the magazine, India Illustrated, at the University of Houston Digital Library. Coins of British India.